Welcome back to Raccoon Tweeties. Thanks for tuning in. Gerardo, how are you doing? Dude, I'm doing all right, dude. I just want to give a quick shout Good, I'm glad to hear it. I want to give a quick shout-out to the, pit, the pimple in the middle of my face. Mm. I just, uh, I did it on purpose. I wanted to find a way to sort of, like, have it overshadow the small teeth and big gums. Oh. Yeah, so shout-out to my pimple. Small teeth, big gums, huge pimple. Dude, that's <laughs> it's kind of small, actually. <laughs> yeah. It may look bigger in the camera because, you know, the camera adds 10 pounds of pimple weight. That's the grossest thing I've ever seen. (laughs) The camera adds five inches of radius (laughs) on a pimple. That's right. People Mm -hmm. don't know that. No. They fucking, yeah. Somebody uh, gadooshed you on the comment one of these last past episodes where they were like, what's that in the middle of your forehead, B? Really? Yeah. So how there was another pimple? Or they're in Australia and they saw it last week. Right, they saw it, yeah, Yeah. seven days ahead. Mm -hmm. They've already seen it even though we haven't recorded it. I mean, this and now I don't know if this is interesting or not, but the the show there are periods of time where I do have pimples on my face, and people are like, "Come on, clean your face," and then it goes away. So the comments get it; they go away, and then they're now they're going to come back. Yeah, you know, it's just like it's a wave, you know. Like yeah. Shab, sometimes he lies. You know, I have pimples on my face. Yeah, yeah, from time to time. Yeah, it, it's it's a rough uh, path. That's why I wear a hat. I got a lot of pimples under the brim of this hat. Oh, yeah, you're hiding them with the hat? That's yeah. smart, dude. You got the best brains for this shit. What can I say? They come from hats, though. Oh. You know, Hatney. Have you heard of that? Ever heard of it? Hatney? I've never heard of hat. I'm not bald, yeah. dog. So. <laughs> well, you wear a hat all the time, though. <laughs> so you should know these things. Yeah, Don't just the throw hair. around these these insults as if they make sense. Okay, it doesn't make sense. Everyone's laughing, though, dude. You're just <laughs> mad because everyone's laughing, dude. At me being bald? Yeah. Uh yeah, possibly no, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. anyone will find it as funny as I do. Like what, that I'm bald? Yeah. I think it is kind of, I think there's something inherently funny about losing your hair. Yeah. Especially like early in life too. It's like ah I'm nine because when you're nineteen, you're supposed to still be like having a okay life. You should be fucking, dude. Yeah, you should be fucking all the time. But with me, I, I like got right out of high school, or actually even in senior year of high school, people were like looking at the back of my head, like, hey, what's it? Yeah. They knew. That shit, knew before I knew. that shit is different. Your friends always know first, right? Yeah. It was different. I, my my journey was diff Dallas. My hairline is different. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think back then I had a problem with it, but I've come it's been a long time. Yeah. I've been bald for years, dude. It's a big racetrack when you're going in circles, right? Uh my head is a circle, a bald circle. Um, yeah, like, what's that, what's the Bane thing people always say? I was born in the dark, in darkness, yeah. you merely adopted it. I was born with the bald head, you merely adopted it. Yeah, you merely adopted the darkness. I tweeted earlier this week, I was like, it's unfair that you can't go, go bald on your back, <laughs> you know, because I have all this back hair. Yeah. And I saw, like, the more replies, somebody was like, did you think that was funny? <laughs> they were so oh mad. Oh my God. I was like, yeah, dude, that's why I tweeted it, man. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> this is, uh... Weird, but it, I mean, I, I still think it's kind of funny. Maybe you can't relate because you don't have back hair because you're a beta. <laughs> quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack, duck noise, sir, please. <laughs> That's the sound that you hear when you wake up in the morning and you see your hairless twink body, loser. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> All my shit is, my, you're, you're a little bit right about my, because I could douche you for your social media. Yeah. But, you have a point when you say, like, I'm on Twitter too much. Right? Yeah, dude. What yeah, the I'll, fuck? I'll admit that. I get all my, like, news from Twitter. And, like, everything I come all my ideas are from Twitter for the show. All your ideas are from your life. Yeah. Which is starting to sound pretty good. You're, I mean, not, well, yeah, I'll be honest. It's starting to sound a lot better than it was. <laughs> You're doing very good, I think. I, I will applaud you. It's a great new shirt. You were talking about your style. I've had the shirt. B? Okay, well. Go along with the narrative. Dude, this shirt, <laughs> this shirt fucking helped me bomb in Phoenix. Really? Like, the shirt did? He's like, fuck that shirt. I've been, oh, this is the Costco shirt? Yeah, that, I remember oh, I told okay. you about that. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I was went trying on to stage paint a narrative. So. And this fucking <laughs> white dude from Chandler named Scott right. was like, I shop at Costco too. Right. And your boy froze. I was like, why is, and then I said out loud, I was like, why are you bringing up Costco? And then he goes like this. Oh, like he's, oh. Like yeah, the shirt. I mean, but it's like, if you wear it too, then what the fuck? Are you sure he wasn't, like, trying to be like, hey, no, we've got the same shit? He didn't laugh at any jokes, so he was just so trying weird, to be a dude. fucking cunt. What an asshole. Yeah. Well, get, have fun in Chandler, you fucking duck. Yeah, dude, quack, quack. Yeah. Uh, you bought the shirt too. That doesn't make sense as an insult, you moron. Yeah. I hate people like that. Yeah, sunburnt ducks out there, dude. Fucking bet yeah, you yeah. it's hot as shit in your room right now. Be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But um, the, I went to a yeah. couple of networking events this week, dude. That's what I wanted to hear about. Yeah, yeah. I went yeah. to uh, I went to a Clippers game, mm-hmm. and you know your boy rocks the Clippers hat. Right. Yeah, you're a Clippers fan, right? You I'm change every year, fan. but this this year is the Clippers year or whatever. I'm trying to be a lifer now, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to be a lifer now. Dude, the fucking, the way you do sports is like you do barber shops. Yeah. It also doesn't make sense. And you know, you're probably getting more hate for that. Do people on the show know that you do that? I'm do sure I've know? talked about it before. I think you have. He has a new, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not a sports guy. I always look at the wrong camera. <laughs> yeah. I do not care. I'm... I used to be big into sports. I still like watching it, but at this point, I just have no strong opinions about them. But this this guy over here, this hawk, <laughs> <laughs> he picks a new team every year to root for. It's like, <laughs> just like when he goes to the barber and he's like, whatever you got. Yeah. But yeah, but Work I'm your sorry, magic. Sorry yeah. to good dude, keep going. Well, also to keep the narrative true, I'm I'm trying to be a lifer now. I got a fucking oh, okay. Clippers jersey now. Growth. Dude, I bought a jersey for like 40 bucks. I was like, what the hell? Jerseys are expensive. Honestly, that sounds cheap for a jersey. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay, dude, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Everyone oh, okay, knows about... jerseys are like 130. But doesn't bucks. it sound like 40 is too much? Like I know mm-hmm. it's always been too expensive. I remember when I would ask my parents, "Can you buy me that?" And they would be like, "Maybe one time." Like yeah. look at the price on that shit. Yeah. But yeah, all right. Yeah, but it's all about the fucking authenticity of it. It's like, oh, it's got that fucking gig 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 on it, right? Yeah, the like NBA logo or yeah. whatever. Where did you buy a forty dollar at the game? Uh, I went to a open mic, and some dude was like. Uh, listen, can I get everyone's attention? No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> some dude was like, uh, dude, he had a Clippers jersey, like, give it here, brother. Clippers, right? Because yeah. I have the hat on all the time. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, he's like 40 bucks right now, dude. And then I just stopped talking to him and I was like, $40 for, because they're, cl- they're changing everything with the Clippers. They're changing the logo and everything. Uh-huh. So they're trying to get rid of the inventory. Oh, the old stuff is yeah. cheap. Yeah. Oh. So I nice. got myself a Kawhi Leonard jersey for 40 bucks this week, dude. Damn, dude, that is a really good deal. Yeah. But like always, I'm just trying to sell a different story than buying a jersey. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was what interested me. All right. We need to veer off every once in a while for the hawk. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought the Clippers jersey, went to a Clippers game, and I'm, dude, I know what's happening here, dude. It's an HBO fucking suite, right? Mm-hmm. Everyone in there that works at HBO, yeah. your boy didn't bring a script. He didn't bring a fucking... I brought an energy. I'll tell you that right now. Right. I brought a Red Bull, dude, and my Clipper fandom, brother. <laughs> all right? That's all you needed. That's all you need. You, these, Should have been a Rain, but okay. Oh, I'll, be, I'll, let, I'll let it slide. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I'm, me and Rain are at odds right now, dude. You drink that white man's poison, that Red Bull. <laughs> that's what I call them, energy drinks. That white man's poison. <laughs> <laughs> so I drink a Red Bull, fucking... I'm just like... I'm going, yeah, whatever. Fucking mm. the, the other team's scoring. I'm like, Fuck! You know, and then uh, I started talking. You know, you got to network at these things, right? Yeah, that's what I would. You told me that was the point of it, so I believe yeah. you there. So I had four plates of food. Don't eat too much food when you're networking, Doug. I don't Did know. You if fart you're... or something? I mean, come on. You know your boy's farting, but I didn't do it like, hey, everyone, <laughs> can I get everyone's attention, please? Your stomach start making noises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone's like, no, but I mean, the food was delicious. So I was like, oh, dude, I need more. And then, like, yeah. you know, your boy's penny pincher, deity, right? What kind of food was it? Uh, you know, a bunch of kinds of foods. Just you know what I want. Hot dog, what? Chile de on. No. <laughs> no, sorry. No, <laughs> no just a yeah. bunch. Of just regular. There's some Latino food too. Whatever. Okay. You got chips, salsa, fucking uh, beans, rice, shit like that. Right. Um, and, and so I had four plates of food, and then the dessert cart came, dude. And the dessert Whoa. cart, I don't know why they don't just like throw all the food away and have the desserts yeah. in there like that. They had like a seven layer fucking carrot cake, dude. Your boy Whoa. was hard, dog. You know that's awesome. I love the idea of a cart of yeah. dessert because that means there's a lot of dessert on mm-hmm. it, and different kinds. Yeah, not just carrot cake. Can I ask you a question? What was that? Um, you was this the one that Dog Face was at? No. Okay. No. Then the question is revoked. <laughs> but when you talk about the next event, if you do, I'll have a Dog Face question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, and then so this lady. Uh, was like, what did you get for dessert? Whatever. And I was like, uh, cheesecake and a cookie the size of your face, dude. This is <laughs> fucking delicious, bro. Right. Like, the cheesecake wasn't warm, because I don't know if you've had warm cheesecake, dude. That's fucking next level, dog. Hmm. I don't know what I prefer. I usually have cold, though. Yeah. Warm cheesecake. Uh, do yourself a favor. Thank me later. What are, right. what are some other things people say? Like, cool story, bro. No, but I don't. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, thank me later. Uh, told you so. No, it's not. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh, there is one on the top, top of my head, but I can't Doesn't matter. It. Doesn't count. And then I'm like, what do you do here? You know, kind of thing. Right. She, she's a marketing genius, dude. Oh, yeah? She's a marketer. She was, okay, just for HBO or? Yep. 
Well, you know, for the whatever segment, you know, right, whatever. Right. But, um, and so she asked me, she's like, what's your comedy about? Mm-hmm. And then I was like, Brennan here, go- here goes, dude. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, here it goes, dude. Right. <laughs> I'm like, you know. You like told but, jokes? No, dude. Let me finish. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop talking though? Because you said Brendan Shaw in the middle of my fucking story, dude. Yeah, well, it was punchline. No. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, Haha, and keep going. I said Brendan Shaw. No, just kidding. Um, I was like, uh, well, I like talking about myself, right? Mm-hmm. And then I was like, fuck, you can, you gotta make it, dude. That's not unique. Nobody gives a fuck about you, right? Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm a sober comedian performing for a bunch of drunks. And that the 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 relationship between the two of us is the the challenge, you know. Whoa. And then she's like, oh, okay, right? And then I asked her, I was like, how would you market that, dude? Your mm-hmm. boy got lessons, dude. And you know what, dude? Coming soon to you, bro. I'm going to start marketing myself in a certain way that she told me, dude. You well, know? you're not going to say what they are now. Is it a secret? Uh, no. But I know for a fact that it's going to work because mm-hmm. as soon as I told her my style and stuff, she kept saying she was married. Just saying, bro. She wanted to smash, bro. You know, She had to tell you that. Yeah. Because she was getting too horned up, you think? Yep. I was like, yo, I'm a sober comedian that used to do drugs, and uh, now I'm not, you know, whatever. And she goes, oh, <laughs> that's awesome. I'm married. Um, And this and that. I'm like, oh, shit, dude. You know? That's interesting. Like, I think it's cool, and I didn't know this about you, that you have your point of view in, like, a soundbite. Yeah. That means, like, you know. So do you... That's really what you think, like, that's your POV, your, like, your bit? I mean, it's more of a bit for her because, and then another person asked me, like, what are you working on right now? Yeah. And I just made a movie up, you know? Oh, so let me ask you a question about the bit. Yeah. Did you just make that up on the spot or had you been thinking, this is my bit? I thought of one chunk of material and I'm like, that's what this is kind of thing. <laughs> okay. So yeah. you, you took one joke and you were like, well, this is my whole thing. Yeah, dude. Take read a read a book, dog. Yeah. That's you're funny. on the spot. Some other guy asked me about a fucking movie idea. I was yeah. like, four comics go on the road. The objective to get paid because it never happens in comedy. I guess I'm just thinking about like all of your jokes. Like there, <laughs> there could have been fun, like really funny. It's like she's like, so what do you do? And you're like, well, my whole thing is like Sharpie. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking that, dude. Because that's you don't even talk about that yet, right? You haven't said a joke about that on stage, have you? I've done the oh, times. you have. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, my whole thing is, like, when I was a kid, um, I, I used to stick Sharpies up my ass. And, like, that's my, my relationship with Sharpies being in my butt. And she's like, I'm definitely married now. <laughs> I was going to say the Spanish alphabet one. You're like, yeah. so my whole thing, right, is, like, the Spanish alphabet sounds like you're fucking. <laughs> there could be so many funny fucking. Or you're, you're like, so, right? well, you really want to hear, like, what I do? And she's like, yeah. You're like, well, um, <laughs> I fucking, fuck, what was the one I was going to do? Oh, yeah, okay, I got it. <laughs> well, all right. Um, to be really honest with you, my whole thing, and this is really my persona, I have a therapist with no teeth <laughs> <laughs> who's on better help. <laughs> you got, you know, if you'd, that kind of, she would probably laugh. Cause she, there's what I like telling people jokes like that, and like they laugh, but it's a strategy to like, because I don't want to answer the question. I, you answer the question, even though you kind of made it up on the spot. I don't want to answer questions like that. So what I do is I just make an absurd joke and hope that they laugh so much that they forget <laughs> and they don't continue. Because I don't want to go deep with some marketing lady. You know, I love her help. I love her advice. Mm-hmm. But like, the, I, I don't really have a POV. But you, like you're that. not living in the moment, dog. You're thinking too much, dude. Like, mm-hmm. whoever talks to me, I love to having conversations with people, dude. Yeah, it's not that I don't. It's not that I don't like the having the conversation. It's just like I don't know what my whole bit is, or like my POV. Yeah. Nor, not, I don't really think about how to like that kind of thing. But if they were on a, I'd be like, you tell me. Let's watch my YouTube video. And you fuck. What's your job? Isn't this your job? What do you mean? What's my thing? You tell me what it is. You market it, you bitch. <laughs> oh my god! I'm a hawk. You're a duck. Quack quack. <laughs> Get to work. What do I do? I just told you what I did. Stand up. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about bugging. I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, so that was fun. <laughs> and then the next night, I went to Lopez versus Lopez. Yes. And uh, I was my objective there was to meet George Lopez, right? Mm. 
I was with the boy Jesus, right? <laughs> fucking fellow hawk. Sure. Latino. Two hawks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Haka. He's got that fucking living room full of hot Cheetos. That's how you know he's real. Right. Right. And uh and so he had <laughs> he had a homegirl that was on the inside, dude. Like she was within arm's reach of George Lopez uh in you know, on the totem pole, right? right. Like she, she's a PA for George Lopez or something right, like right, that. Right. And she kept coming over to Jesus, like, you guys don't have wristbands for the VIP? What the fuck? Like Oh, uh, let me nice. try to figure this out. Yeah, yeah. So she's trying to figure it out. And she's like, oh, yeah, I guess they don't have it. Like, let me see your email. She's trying all these different ways. Uh-huh. And me and Jesus are getting jazzed up like, fuck yeah, dude, we might get a wristband, you know? And right. then the man comes, dude, George Lopez. Mm-hmm. He's got a big head, dude. Huge. I don't know if you know that. He does. Yeah, I, that makes sense. His head looks big. But it's I, insane. Yeah, I've never dude. seen in person. Yeah. yeah. And he's shaggy right now, too. So he's got long hair, big head, nice. slangs for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Celebrities have big heads. Yeah. Cabezas. And so he's taking pictures, whatever. He's trying to get away from it for a second. And he goes to the bar and he's by himself. And then this PA lady comes over and she says, George, you know Jesus, right? And I'm just there behind Jesus, like, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. And George looks over and he goes, Yeah. Uh, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> and that was it, dude. He, she, oh, that's cool. She fucked us. She fucked us, dude. She fucked she, us hard. Because she didn't have a, like, a follow-up or something? It was just an awkward moment we could have done without, mm-hmm. dude. What do you think she thought was going to happen? Oh, it's Jesus. He gives him a big hug. And who is this? <laughs> yeah, dude. I love you. <laughs> I love you. You're dressed so nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the. This is it. This the, He like puts his hand out to shake. And as you shake, he goes, this is the most important handshake of your life. You're like, <laughs> fuck yeah and the best part of the whole event dude obviously seeing George Lopez in person whatever mm-hmm. right. that's fucking dope because I looked up to him as a kid mm-hmm. um, he went they're doing the panel after watching the episode great episode by the way <laughs> great episode dude yeah never seen um, it never saw it but they're asking each other questions about like representation on TV for Latinos and stuff mm-hmm. and George Lopez at the end of everyone's like speech or spiel he goes mm-hmm. Pinche mamones. It means cocksuckers. <laughs> Why did he? Because he's bored by that conversation or what? No, I, he's trying to be funny. Oh, okay. But it's hilarious to be like, you know, we just, you know, having a strong Latina character on, on TV is so important to us. Right. This and that. And then I don't know where you're. Pinche mamones. Wait. He basically played the duck knife. <laughs> yeah, dude. Who was time. on the panel? Do you remember? Um. Yeah. I mean, Al Madrigal. Shout out Al Madrigal. Oh, yeah. Al. Yeah. One of our guys. Never met him. Um. And. His daughter and uh, Selena's uh, something. That she was the best woman character in the show. Oh, so it's people from the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. And then uh, the white guy. The white guy, dude, I feel for you guys, dude. Because oh, yeah? when it's a room full of Latinos and you're the only white guy on stage, you're going to get fucking lit up, B. People right? were joning on him? Yeah. And then the first thing he said was like, <laughs> well, as a single white male, I think I said enough. Or what is it? Uh, a straight white male? God. Dude, it was a liberal fucking... Did people laugh at that? Yeah, dude. Oh, no. Everything you say and do on stage there, you're getting claps. You're getting laughs, dude. God. I hate it when people do that shit. Yeah. Shut up. If that's what you think, don't say anything. You don't need to talk at all. (laughs) Yeah. Why are you saying... Like, that guy, Eric Stallwell, he's a congressman. He did that. He was like, you know, I think, honestly, one of the most important things is for me not to talk, right? (laughs) We're like, what are you fucking talking about? Say Your whole job you fucking is you, bitch. you're a congressman, you stupid duck. <laughs> what are you babbling about? God, it's embarrassing for a white person to be like that. Yeah. You're friends with everybody. Hopefully, they like you. They want to hear from you. They should be taking notes from Callan and Shab, dude. It's like, oh, yeah. Would you like to say anything? And he's like, yeah, just really quick. I shouldn't say much, but. Owner alert. Yeah, that, you're right. You're right to add that because that's the opposite end of the spectrum. The one, they're. On the very left annoying side, it's the like, you guys, you know what I just realized? I'm white. (laughs) Fuck me, right? (laughs) You guys are awesome. (laughs) And then the opposite end of the spectrum is Brennan Shaw being like on the panel interrupting George Lopez to be like, hey, hey, hey. Uh, So who who here is a Taco Bell Mexican? (laughs) And who here is a Guadalajara Mexican? Just silence, like. (laughs) <laughs> his daughter fucking like stands up and she's like I will not be part of this I am leaving they vomit on stage <laughs> she throws it <laughs> from one of his jokes because it's so bad alright yeah cool story bro but who here is a Taco Bell <laughs> yeah dude why didn't he get an invite yeah. too bad that would have been very funny to have him there 
But do, if, if you're okay with talking about this, Dogface was there, right? Oh, Dogface was there. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I turned around and I saw Dogface and I went, oh, shit, Dogface. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, what's up, brother? <laughs> I was like, I love your work, dude. I do like his dances. He does. He's known yeah. for that fucking yeah, thing yeah. on the- You did a great act out before the show started. <laughs> on the skateboard? Yeah. So Dogface, if you don't know, Dogface is this guy that was doing a Fleetwood Mac song on the skateboard with cranberry juice. I just think that's so funny that you didn't know that he was there. Oh, like, I, no, you. I knew. Oh, but, but like right, he was right behind me at a certain point. Yeah, and you didn't realize he was right behind you. And that was the first time I saw him, by the way. But yeah. there was rumors that going around that Dogface is here, Dogface is here, Dogface is here. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what, like, because you know that joke that people do where they go, he's right behind me, isn't he? That's like, you got to put that. If you turn that into a stand-up thing, you keep talking about dog face, and then you turn to the audience and you go, he's right behind me. <laughs> now here you go again, my name. You got the wiggle down. It's fucking you guys see me do the dog, dog face wiggle? Face. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I love that guy. That video captured the fucking whole country. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I still think what I said off the pod, I think that is true. Um, that it's kind of ridiculous that well, and as, as you, a straight white male, you shouldn't say any more, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to say it. But you were talking about, oh. the in the, um, the, the his daughter was talking about, like, representation. Regardless of the, like, whatever wokeness or whatever that, or what, there, she has a point as far as, like, there's not a whole lot of Latino celebrities, right? Right. And there's not a lot of representation. And then when you get them, it's, like, someone named Dogface, <laughs> which I think is funny. The representation is dog face and concrete. <laughs> and both of those people are very funny. I'm a fan and I'm glad that they're, and they should be the people, but there should also be people with normal names. Get out of the dude. <laughs> it's supposed to be a Gerardo, Alarcon, and Jesus Sepulveda and <laughs> Jerry Garcia. Although <laughs> I can make an argument that that's a pretty ridiculous name. <laughs> Jerry Garcia? Yeah, this is a Grateful Dead guy's name. It's like <laughs> there's only concrete and fucking there's going to be like a Latino comic named Eddie Vedder. <laughs> <laughs> well, shout out to Jerry. I'm going to be on the show tonight if you're watching this live. Oh, nice. Uh, April, I think, 18th. This, Hell I'm on yeah, dude. Tim Brea. I'll be doing five minutes up top. Hell yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, that's the Brea Improv. Yeah. First time ever playing in the Brea. The last time I went there, I saw Norm McDonald. Whoa. It was dope. Been a, yeah, tight, tight. That was, uh, I think, eight years ago when I first started stand up. Oh, shit. Nine years probably now. And uh, I recorded his set. Oh. Because I was a no, duck. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wanted to start a new segment on the okay, show. If go you're for okay it. with it. So Well, as a straight white male, this is the only segment you get. That's to- true. I mean, we're gonna limit the amount of time I have on the show going forward. <laughs> um, so there I don't know if you guys do this, but and you gals, if there are any. <laughs> <laughs> Doubt it, dude. Three percent. Three percent. There are some on the Patreon. At least they say so. Um <laughs> it's men with kinks, dude. <laughs> it's men with salsa on them. Yeah. Uh, I do a thing where, and this is a total duck move, I'll admit it. I tweet thing, or I don't tweet. I send tweets that I see to just friends because I don't want to be involved in liking it. I don't want the smoke that comes from it. I just don't want to, I don't know. You probably do this. I think everybody probably does this to some extent. But I want to do a segment on the show of tweets I've seen that I think are hilarious but I haven't liked or retweeted because I just don't want to deal with the, I mean, there probably isn't because nobody knows who I am. I don't matter on count, yep. but for whatever reason, I don't want to like, like it and retweet it. Mm. And also I've heard the tweets both ways. Most of the time, like I see both sides of the argument here. Yeah. So I want to shout out this guy, Ken Wood. I don't know who you are. Ken Wood, the, the underscore wood 95. Yeah. But it says POV. You just moved to Austin. And you got to look that up if you're on the audio. This is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. (laughs) I remember seeing this and just laughing hysterically. How does it only have 14 retweets? Yeah. It's probably because people see this. and But it doesn't even have that many views either. Only if you're hearing about this now, you're one of the privileged 7,000, almost 8,000 people that can see it. (laughs) Only 8,000 can see this. This says POV, you moved to Austin. It's a guy with a really long face, gigantic teeth. Like a weird beard. He's skinny. He looks like he's dying. But his shoulders are big. <laughs> and he, he's got a goatee. He's got like a weird kind of rat looking face. And a t-shirt. One of those like, 
It's not even a V-neck. It's just a shirt that's old, like an old shirt, and he has a podcast. Yeah. And, and I just think it's so perfect. An SM7B, Daddy. That's a good mic right there. Right. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, yeah. See, I've never been to Austin. I don't know what it's like. I'm sure it's great. Uh, a lot of cool people have moved there and, and like it. Um, and, you know, I, I'm a po- I do a podcast as well. What's behind him, do you think? What's that thing behind him? That's a chair, Daddy. But, like, no, but the thing that goes up at the end, like, to the, you see what I'm talking about? Like, the this this thing. Is that part of the chair? No, that's a microphone. Oh, so there's two mics. It's like he has a headset on that has, you know, like the headset with the microphone on it? Oh, so it's pulled. <laughs> <laughs> and his chest, there's no muscle. It's like caving in on itself. Oh, uh, the first comment is, who is thing. this guy and why is YouTube always suggesting him? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, "Is that Duncan Trussell?" Yeah, I you, I don't know. I, I I don't know if that really looks like Duncan. Is that? I don't think it really looks like Duncan that much. Luckily, what? this creature has hair. Otherwise, I'd feel personally attacked. See, you like I don't. I don't. This isn't supposed to be moist critical, right? Because he's not. It kind of looks like moist critical. Yeah, and and I know. I we think we. I think he's funny from what I've seen. Oh yeah, I'm not caducing him or people in Austin, but man. You know, this is a funny tweet, dude. Uh, but my question is, what's the what's the name of the segment? Because you've changed the name like five times already. I know. I I like I because I always hear about I I hear things both ways. Yeah. So I kind of want to like heard both ways tweet, but there's also the added thing of like tweet I shouldn't share. Yeah. Tweet so I, there all, you go. There you go. Dude. I'm hearing even both ways on the name of the segment, <laughs> Deity. But yeah, tweet I shouldn't share. I think this is tweet because I think there are people that are very funny. But for whatever reason, their shit doesn't get out there to everybody. And this guy, Ken Wood, I don't know what his other tweets are like, or stand-up, or what, who he is, or what he does. So if you look him up and he's a member of the American Nazi Party, then I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, you know, do not support that. The old ANP, dude. Yeah. I don't, I'm just kidding around. I'm sure he's <laughs> not. But this is a, this is just great work. Banger work, dude. Yeah, this is like Pulitzer Prize. I wish I thought the... My biggest compliment to people um, is I wish I thought of it. Yeah. Right? Um, This is just so good. Every detail is so good. Where did he find this picture? Did he draw this? Yeah, he drew this. For sure. He he fucking drew drew this, dude. (laughs) Yeah. That's great. Ken Wood's got a fucking hand on him, and he'll keep you busy, dude. Ken Wood, dude, will Mm -hmm. light you up. Yeah. Okay? This reminds me, I may want to revisit the, not on this episode, but that guy, real online boy, what he did with the talk show. Yeah. Maybe that'll be next week's thing. But I don't need to go into that because I don't think we ever really talked about that much. And you know, when it comes to flappers, you know the fucking the raccoon army shows up, dude. Right? Yeah. You should tell Ken Wood, like, yo, the boys like you, dude. You know? Yes. Yeah. We get people don't get their flowers, mm-hmm. right? You should tell people that you like their shit. I have another thing in mind. I'm not going to say what it is. But I've been seeing this guy. He's been doing a lot of great work on Twitter, replying to mm-hmm. people, making funny things. Um, so that may be also next week. There's a lot of tweets that I see that are very good. I go, I see it. I think that's a great tweet. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, I just want to like get out. I want to show people stuff. Not to also, if you have suggestions, if you're in the Discord, if you're on the Patreon, if you're on our Reddit, you can suggest stuff to me. You can message me. Maybe I'll see it. Maybe I won't. I've never read the comments. Don't message him on Discord. No, don't message me on Discord because I won't see it. I really won't see it because I don't. Gerardo has made me distrust Discord. Wait, and no, it, you distrust it yourself because you got a weird message oh, from somebody. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm painting a narrative. <laughs> I, got, I think both of those things are true. Yeah. But I got a weird... I think I either let someone in or they, they did some weird fucking scam thing on Discord. And after that, I just... I don't know. I don't trust it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You threw your phone against the wall. You got a new one. I got a new phone. I changed my phone number. I moved to Austin. Yeah. So I did a lot of stuff, dude. I heard it both ways. I, basically, I want Ken Wood to make one where it's like, uh, you watch Brendan Shaw one time and it's a picture of us in their chairs. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to make one. Yeah. He sees this. He makes one of it like POV. You're fucking, you have a stupid podcast. We're like, Ken, how could you do this? <laughs> Ken, we gave you flowers. I dude. fucking said you were funny. He's like, listen, I go where the joke goes. Okay. <laughs> you guys are ducks. And now look at this fucking. <laughs> this is kind of like one of those caricatures people do. Yeah. You know, the caricature artists where they make you like whatever feature you have, they make it like way more pronounced. So for me, giant bald head, very small teeth, big giant gums, huge dick. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, 
you know, I don't know that. Like, I don't want that. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand why people go to the caricature thing. Mm-hmm. They have very thick skin. You love it when it's somebody else, but when you talk about <laughs> yes, oh, uh, very much so. But this isn't. I. This isn't uh, somebody specific. I don't think. Maybe it yeah. is. But I think it's just like a. It's a joke, a funny joke on the Austin scene. I can't really speak to it because I haven't been there, you know, and I don't talk about men on airwaves or yeah. cities. But it like, you know, it if you're you can poke fun at yourself and if you have a humor about it, as long as it's not super mean spirited or crazy or weird, yeah, then it's fine. Daddy. daddy. <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> you both to say daddy right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Well, that's been the segment, dude. Yeah, that's the segment. Tell us what you think. Should we keep it? Was that worth it? Or was that just us talking about a tweet for fucking 10 minutes? Who knows, dude? <laughs> uh, what's yeah. this one about, dude? This one was another thing I've seen. This guy, Amir Rahman. This is the opposite of giving people flowers. I saw this guy, and I've seen him before. And it's not necessarily that, like, you know, I fully, I don't know all of his points or whatever. I, I may or may not disagree or agree with some of them. I don't care about politics, really. Mm, yeah. What I care about is how unfunny this guy is. Yeah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't count. Doesn't, yeah, do, it doesn't really matter what you think as long as you can, if you're going to do stand-up, you have to make the joke funny, right? But his argument, he's sort of like Manette, you know, Nanette, but Manette. Mm. His argument is like, it doesn't need to be funny. I, I, don't, I, have no, I, I don't know if this really is his argument, but to me, just watching him, I think there's this new thing where it's like Nanette and Manette they think that you don't really need to, like, tell a joke. Oh. Stand-up is now, like, no. Um, you know, it's a more important stuff is being is happening. So we just need to, like, be newscasters or something. Mm-mm. Angry newscasters. Mm-mm. That's, a, that's what they, they're like an anchor that's had a bad day. That's what they sound like to me. Or I'll combine with one-man show, which when done wrong is worse than, like, being a hostage. Yeah. You know? So that's what this is. Yeah, dude. Me. It's never going to be that, dude. <laughs> you know why? Because <laughs> your boy <laughs> sees right. bags on the floor. Right. That shit funny, bro. That's what comedy I'm going to fucking scoop that bitch up. Mm. Uh-oh. Bag on the floor. Scooped it up. Right? Take it away, man. Right. I, well, <laughs> bro, this motherfucker right here, bro. Yeah, I bet you he don't even do black sand, bro. No. no. Hell no. Hell no. Bro, he don't know shit, bro. Because mm. I'll tell you one thing right now. He got all these political points. Where the TikTok? Mm. Where the IG filters? Mm. Where is the Snapchat? No engagement, bro. You ain't got no engagement on nothing, bro. Mm-mm. When you see me, it's like 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 mm-hmm. like 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 retweet, mm-hmm. share, watch time, view, like, comment, subscribe, share, bro. Smash that like button. Yeah. This fool talking about Palestine or some shit. I'm talking about likes. <laughs> 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 Talking about five million views, no likes, bro. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> All right, let's watch it. Let's see. A lot of people want the Democrats to lose, understandably. A lot of people want the Democrats to be punished and to suffer a historic and humiliating defeat. Hilarious. Yeah, so far, I'm just yeah. like uproarious laughing. That's fucking and great, dude. The crowd at this stand up show mm-hmm. is like completely dead silent. I think it's they're deaf. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Like they're just watching. Be cool. No, <laughs> no, but yeah, that's what it feels like. And white liberals are very tense, right? They're like, is that what you really want? Is that what you really want? You want Trump to come back? You want Trump to win? What I want is for you to not lecture us on how to respond to a genocide you didn't try to stop, okay? You think that's a good idea? You think that's a good idea for your community? Because it's your community that's going to suffer if Trump comes back. People like you are going to suffer. What do you think of that? I think that a political system that ultimately makes you choose between genocidal dementia and cheeseburger-powered fake tan Hitler <laughs> is a system worth overthrowing. Hilarious. Duh, dude. The first, yeah, so I'm only not laughing because it's the second time I've seen it. Right? I take it back, bro. <laughs> man, this man's standing on business, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh-uh. He saw a chili dog. He said, hey, yo, pause. Right? He's like, cheeseburger, mm. bro. Right? Right. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Hit that chair, bro. If the audience had big red chairs, they'd be slapping the shit at them motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, I'll stop. I li- no, I like every, every second of that. I like. I think it's so funny this the way this guy is doing stand up. It's so bad. 
Everything, everything is so wrong. Just uh, from what he's wearing to where he's sta- how he's standing to his cadence, and also the there's a, the telltale sign of somebody who really is not good at stand up is the fucking leaning on stuff. Okay, maybe oh, that. Jesus Christ, Sorry. when you're <laughs> that scared me. Yeah, when you're leaning on shit, like yeah. when you're like leaning like on the fucking uh, mic stand, you have no. You just don't get it. Mm-hmm. Like it could have, it, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> go for it, dude. You could. There are times when professional headlining comedians will do that, like a little bit. But the if your whole thing is you're just doing this and like leaning over on the stool and stuff, it's because you have zero confidence. <laughs> it's you don't un, you don't understand the workings of stand up. You don't believe what you're saying. You know you're not funny, yeah! and you're scared like a little <laughs> duck. Quack quack. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, dude. All right, let's. I'm gonna back it up a little bit because he jumps. I think <laughs> that the system is worth it. We're throwing. Okay. <laughs> oh, hilarious. <laughs> what are you babbling about? Talk about Chilean. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the hot Cheetos? <laughs> And crop out the uglies, resend, dude. You know what's hilarious? Fucking uh, war that's going on right now. It's so funny. I'm worth overthrowing. Okay, maybe that is the conclusion you should be coming to instead of lecturing black and brown people on why they don't worship the Democrats, okay? So many people are like, in the comments, they're like, you're Australian, be Australian. <laughs> you know, the fucking, the Tropic Thunder clip. They kept, they're like, what are you even talking about that what is this is this guy he's from australia he has like comedy mixtape that's the yeah, and then the music it's egregiously cringe yeah comedy mixtape folks <laughs> can't wait for him to drop another fire tin, <laughs> but one minute that has no jokes in it <laughs> serious and sad what a loser they're all so bad i watched like one more of them it's it, remember nine eleven. Can we watch this? Yeah, it's probably it's probably just a fucking. I mean, we might laugh too much. Yeah, I'm I'm afraid of laughing. He's like, remember AIDS? <laughs> the government might AIDS. You remember uh, you remember nine eleven, brother? You do, yeah. Do you remember how you felt at the time? Hilarious. Oh, like, yeah. Wait, yeah. that set put him in the mood to laugh. Yep. <laughs> He's like, yeah, my dad died in one of the terrors. So you you really remember it then, huh? I don't really like making jokes. I like discussing people's feelings on stage. Do you remember how you felt when you were born? <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. That's so funny. Oh, fuck. He's like, he's doing like even worse. He's found a, a even worse way to do crowd work, is what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, and see, so he's like, come on, come on stage instead of like looking through the phone for like a funny conversation from some chick. He's like, oh. Here's a status about how your dog died. You want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. I like your accent of him, too. Uh, come on stage. Come on stage. Okay. This is a little unconventional. Uh, I want you to cry right now. <laughs> Just Why are you crying? Why is, it, I... is it something really bad? The guy Does someone have cancer? Erupting in laughter. <laughs> All right, let's see. And by how you felt, I mean, like, were you for or against? I feel like... <laughs> Two kinds of people in the world. So if you were under 30, then you were like less than 10 years old when 9-11 happened, right? Yeah, so, so you may not remember, some of you may not remember what it was like immediately after 9-11. Dude, he's like 30. What do you... Yeah. yeah. He, he all, I have no idea how old he is, but uh, once again, he is from Australia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in Australia, we really took 9-11 hard. Was it a big deal for them? <laughs> we the the Sydney uh, what is it called the the Opera House yes yeah. the Sydney Opera House uh, security was at all time high this is the only thing we got really yeah dude and he's like you wouldn't really know what it's like because you're young you wouldn't know what it's like because you are from Australia <laughs> maybe you're seven days ahead but that doesn't it's not the same he's like lecturing people from New York he's like you didn't really get it though, because I am whatever I am. In Australia, dude. It was different. It was Sydney. It was different. <laughs> Shut up. Dude, I will say this right now, dude. I, I'm I have a new style of stand-up comedy now. Yeah, like this, right? Nope. No? Nope. What? Every time a joke bombs, dude, I bring somebody on stage. 
That's it right there, dude. You unlocked it. Yeah. Yeah. You guys ever heard of Frito Lay? <laughs> What's with all these chips? No laughter. Sir, come on stage. <laughs> they just stand behind me and yeah. they're just like a tally of all the jokes I did badly. <laughs> that, that's funny. Yeah. All the, if there's like a good show, there's only one person behind you yep. or like no one. Mm-hmm. But if it's a really bad show, that stage you can't even move. Yep. And if it's one person laughing, that motherfucker's coming on stage, bro. That's it. If it was joke bombs, but one person's laughing, I'm like, sir, you laughed at that. Nobody else liked it. Get on stage. And then they're laughing at all my shitty jokes behind me, dude. Forcing everyone else to laugh, dude. Fucking look through my phone now, dog. See what happens, dude. That's honestly really funny. Dude. Yeah. I, that's so funny. The idea of like a joke doesn't do well and you go, sir, come on stage. And you go, yeah, I'm going to do that every time a joke doesn't do well. So <laughs> be, and then because people don't want to come on stage, they'll just start laughing. But you, every time there's like people around. That is funny, dude. I love that. <laughs> if we could really find a way to do that, I think we should. Give it up for Gerardo and the 17 people he brought on stage. <laughs> <laughs> you brought you get off stage, you go to the green room, and, and people have their heads down, and you're like, yeah, I know, there's a lot of people. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Fucking crowd sucks. <laughs> crowd fucking blows, dude. Let's Paranoia see. was just at an all-time high. Any Muslim or any community representative in the media couldn't provide any context or history to 9-11. There was just intense pressure to condemn, condemn, condemn. And if you tried to talk about American foreign policy or imperialism or anything like right that, to the you were just labeled a terrorist. Nobody's trying to talk about that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he sucks. <laughs> just immediately, like, <laughs> grabbing for help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at this. If his hand was a magnet, everything is metal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Let's see. Or a terrorist sympathizer. Of course, they used 9-11 to launch... The mic is like, let go of me, dude. Yeah, so the, the mic feels mic sexually standing. harassed. <laughs> the mic stands like, stop touching me, bro. I know this could be kind of a shop thing where you, like, show a great comedian doing this. There's a difference between, like, when you do it naturally and when you do it unnaturally. This <laughs> is unnatural. And yes, that is my takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> he might be Spider-Man, dude, because everything's sticking to them hands, bro. <laughs> Amir Parker, bro. Thousands more people <laughs> than died in the attacks. The racism against Arabs and Muslims was used to expand surveillance and Hilarious. clamp down on dissent. A different time. A different time. Hard for, hard for some of you young kids to relate to. Don't worry. There's nothing, nothing to worry about. Um, I, do, I do think about the 9-11 hijackers a lot. I do. Because, um, Jesus Christ, dude. He's like a whack substitute teacher. <laughs> You know, he comes in, he's like, I'm, I'm going to impress these kids, dude. They're going to think I'm cool because I am cool. I wear, my shoes are cool. And uh, you guys ready to learn? You guys ready to learn today? You got your textbook out? See the windows open? Throw it out. <laughs> he's like, throw your fucking white bullshit textbook mm-hmm. out. You know what we're doing today? We're watching 9 11. We're watching a recording of 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> and they like they just watch the, and then and when it, it when it hits the tower he starts laughing he's like isn't that funny we can laugh at that I'm not like one of those fucking weird your teacher who's gonna teach you about biology no dude we're gonna laugh about the plane crash but my dad died in 9-11 oh is that your takeaway <laughs> <laughs> is that your takeaway I'm cool <laughs> comedy is about being cool as always <laughs> They organized that without WhatsApp. Do you understand? They are 19 brown guys at different airports, everyone on time. They didn't have a WhatsApp. There was no WhatsApp group chat that was like, oh no, it's all happening tomorrow, so nervous, sweating emoji, nothing like that. Emojis. They had brick phones, Hotmail, Hotmail, Gmail didn't exist until 2004, Hotmail accounts, and probably one very good Excel spreadsheet, right? What's your name, brother? <laughs> directly into crowd work. <laughs> These serious lot, they they had like Excel and all that. Like very good. What's your name, sir? <laughs> don't please don't put me in this. Please. I'll do anything. I'll, do I'll stand on stage. You're Australian, dude. <laughs> You're Australian. Be Australian. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You've got WhatsApp. Yeah? Can you organize five brown guys to turn up to something on time? <laughs> try it, try organizing a movie night. How many weeks does it take? How many debates? How many problems? 
And then finally, finally, when you have it all organized, you want to be a nice person, you bought everyone's tickets, now you're standing outside like a dickhead for 20 minutes, <laughs> missing the movie because everyone is late. Everyone's late, and one guy is still like, oh, is that tonight? Yes, it's tonight. <laughs> the name, time, and date of the movie are the name of the WhatsApp group. I can't do anything else for you. <laughs> That's what you care about as a parent. Your life is just schedules and timing. So all you care about is whether something is well organized. You come back from an event, that's all you say to each other. Really well organized. Uh, I don't know if you Damn. see it, dude, but bald man in the front row, dude. Yeah, dude, Lex Luthor over there. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking my, my dad's in the crowd. Um, well, yeah, what did you think about that? No, nah, it's oh, not just pointing it out. Fucking terrible, dude. Yeah, I mean, all of that 9 11 stuff just to make a kind of hacky brown people I always like, you know, I can't get them on time, you know. <laughs> How can we do 9 11 if we're brown, right? <laughs> I mean, we're never on time. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know, America is full of xenophobia and uh, hate towards Muslims and stuff. Yeah, really different time. Anyway, so brown guy, brown guy, brown guy, brown guy, <laughs> brown guy. Like all these stereotypes yeah, yeah. of brown guys. I hate that fucking little illusion fucking magic tree people do yeah. where it's like, yeah. being racist is not okay, dude. Yeah. Asian people cannot drive, dude. <laughs> yeah, you know? Dude. 100%. Yeah. I went into a Callan mode of 100%, but I do agree with you. 100%. <laughs> um. But yeah, let, enough of this fucking duck, dude. Let's see. Patito time, fool. Yeah. That's, that was the segment called Patito time, fool. Yeah. I think we need to pick me up. We might as well go to the Any Given Sunday speech. Yeah, let's do this, dude. You've and never seen it before. I've never seen the speech, but I will say uh, to people watching, if this gets cut out, uh, there's the audio version will have it, but I'm oh, pretty sure. Do you think it will get cut out? But it's easy to cut it out. Okay. Well, we don't need to watch it. I need this, dude. Oh, you do need yeah. this, right? You need that pick-me-up. Yeah, dude. So Gerardo's never seen the movie Any Given Sunday. If you haven't, it's a football movie. Ever heard of it? <laughs> Al Pacino stars as a coach, and in this scene, he's giving a uh, pep talk to his team to get them to win the game, and Jim Brown is behind him because he's the defensive coordinator. Ever heard of it? Mm, Jim <laughs> Brown, the, he was Cleveland Browns, right? Uh, I think he played for the Browns, yeah. Yeah. I know Yeah, definitely, def definitely. Yeah, let's see. I don't know what to say, really. Three minutes to the biggest battle of our professional lives. All comes down to <laughs> Dennis Quaid. <laughs> Dennis Quaid. Yeah, dude, he was the quarterback, dude. <laughs> he fucking he's the he came in when Jamie was hurt. But so isn't it funny already how similar this speech is to that stand-up speech? Mm -hmm. Right? The cadence, like it's it's not made... The stand-up is not for jokes. Yeah. Deadly serious. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys remember 9-11? <laughs> that would be funny to say <laughs> in a halftime speech to your team. You guys remember 9-11? <laughs> what's, we, what's your name? What, what's your name? You don't know your players' names. <laughs> what, what you mean by my name? What, <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, dude. Yeah. What the fuck? What, my name? Fucking, yeah. We're LeBron down 14. James. Like, LeBron James. LeBron I love China. James. <laughs> What do you mean? What What is my name? I'm <laughs> it's game three of the NBA Finals, dude. Not. Max Muncy, dude. <laughs> Max Ever heard Muncy. of me, dude? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dennis, we, either, we heal as a team, or we're gonna crumble, inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. Hello, cool J. <laughs> hello, hello, cool J. <laughs> Greatest wide receiver to ever play the game. I love the Fubu uh, little beanie. Oh yeah, this is back then. Yeah, dude. We were rocking. <laughs> we, we were. Yeah, I was rocking Fubu <laughs> we rocking. for us by us. <laughs> you know, Irish kids from Arlington, Virginia. That dude, was for us. I wore a Fubu shirt once and got gadooshed hard oh, at school, dude. Dude, I even I knew not to do that. I mean, I didn't know anything, and then yeah. my homie Danny was like, "Dude, for us by us, bro." <laughs> Why are you wearing Fubu, man? <laughs> yeah, no, I I knew that. Right, uh, I did. I think I probably wanted a Fubu shirt. Yeah, but, it was know. just cheap, Good and time. my mom didn't know. She bought it for me. That's hilarious. Yeah, dude, she could douche you. Yeah, and then I didn't throw that shirt away forever because of the memories. Let's see. <laughs> we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or. We can fight our way back. Oh, we could pop some steroids. Who's uh, who's with me, boys? We can get some dick juice. <laughs> dick juice. LT's there, too. Um, what is it? Lawrence Taylor is, is in this. Into the light. We can climb. Jamie, Jamie Fox. Yeah, dude. Before he started that liquor company. Out of hell. 
one inch at a time. Yeah. Now, Eight I inches. Can't do it for you. I'm too old. <laughs> I look around, I see these young faces, and I think. This is what Lex does. I mean, <laughs> this is Thick Boy Studios. Episode, There's a priest there. <laughs> Why is a priest there? Because, um, well, I People don't know why. People die on the field, dude. Yeah, I don't know why a priest, well, sometimes they do like prayer and shit. Oh, yeah. But um, I'm sure there's a priest at Thick Boy. Yeah. Just, you know, before every A episode. chaplain? A chaplain. In the corner. A Thick Boy chaplain. That would be hilarious, dude. Like on the, the golden hour, you know how they have the producer shot? Yeah. If a chaplain's just in the back, dude. We should do that. We pan out and there's like a, pri- a, a priest like yep. shaking it. Or he's just like this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> intently watching. Yeah, dude, racking tweeties. We're like, you get paid this week if you don't laugh. He's like, oh, dude, this is the easiest money of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I made every wrong choice a middle-aged man can make. I, uh... I'm expecting to see Vin Diesel at any time. Is he in this? Um, No, Vin, Vin didn't make okay. it. No. I pissed away all my money, <laughs> believe it or not. I chased off anyone who's ever loved me. And lately, I can't even stand the face I see in a mirror. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> the words are so funny. Every time this part of it is so funny to me. I pissed away everything I have. My family hates me. And lately, I can't even stand the look of my face in the mirror. <laughs> okay. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> <Good one. laughs> you know, boss. You get old in life, right, it's not boss. Things get taken from. You. I mean, that's 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 part of life. But you only learn that when you start <laughs> losing stuff. You find out life's this game of inches. So is football. <laughs> because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. So small. I dude. mean. Yes, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. Bill I have to take pills to get on, folks. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> this shirt doesn't fit me anymore. <laughs> my tailor will stop seeing me. I can't figure out how to get this pen out of my pocket. <laughs> There's a shoppie in my ass. Because <laughs> you know when you're online <laughs> at the bank. <laughs> So I fuck. On this team, we fight for that itch. <laughs> on this team, we tear ourselves <laughs> and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. Yeah. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. <laughs> because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Yeah. Between living and, and dying. dying. <laughs> oh, shit. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, <laughs> it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. And sleeping is a Helix mattress. <laughs> yeah, he starts saying plugs. P- promo code Pacino. When you're out there on that field, you got energy. You know why? Because you got fucking magic. <laughs> yeah. In my friend, Anna, Josh Terry. <laughs> the six inches in front of your face. Yeah. Pause, bro. Aaron Eckhart. Yeah, dude. They have every crazy person in this fucking movie. <laughs> Al Pacino, Jim Brown, Aaron Eckhart. Can you imagine being on that set? It's probably terrifying. <laughs> it's like, which of these psychos is gonna say some crazy shit to me today? This is the this is the setup for a New York Post article right now, dude. <laughs> um, you're like walking around, you see Jim Brown, and like though I, I have immense respect for him. But he's scary, and I would be like, "All right, well, I'm gonna turn the current." Oh no, Aaron Eckhart! Oh no, <laughs> he's just beating that. Hey, did you fuck anyone last night? What, Aaron? <laughs> Aaron, chill. <laughs> Leave me alone. Dennis Quaid around the other corner. <laughs> I, I told. I think I told the Aaron Eckhart story in one. I don't want to tell the whole thing, but 
the my friend is a screenwriter, and he met with Aaron Eckhart, and Aaron Eckhart was just like the craziest person ever. In what like, way? In a, like, yes, good question. He was saying things. I wish I could remember the full story, but he was. They're supposed to meet about this script that he wrote and discuss it, and maybe Aaron Eckhart to be in the movie or whatever. And but Aaron Eckhart's like they sit down, and he's saying like immediately saying things like, "I could go up to any woman in this bar and fuck her." Oh my god! And like, or like, and then he's like, "You gotta have that confidence." You gotta just be able. I'm just saying crazy stuff. Like, dude, would you like? Would you like? What would you do if you were to approach her? No, that's not the way. Like, go pick up artist like, mm. and just saying wildly crazy shit like that. That sounds like all the comedians I've ever met, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's Jesus. No, 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 no. No confidence though. Not like yeah. sleeping with women. Like, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, have yeah. To, you have to have confidence. Watch yeah. this, and then yeah. just some. Everyone, can I get your attention? <laughs> Let's see here. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're gonna see a guy who will go that inch with you. Hell yeah. You're gonna see a guy mm. who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for him. Brown people are always late. Brown people are late. <laughs> they didn't even have WhatsApp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, vote for Trump then. <laughs> Democrats, I think that she got a great ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's a team, gentlemen. And either we heal now as a team. Well, there's gonna be another 9-11. <laughs> nine eleven is funny. That's what it's about. <laughs> What's your name, brother? <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> that's all it is. Let's pull out his phone. Who <laughs> Cynthia? <laughs> what if I called her right now in front of you ever one of the halftime here? <laughs> crowd work on the football team. Yeah. Are you doing crowd work on us, coach? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To get you motivated. <laughs> Ooh, let's call your dad. <laughs> let's call your dad. <laughs> now. What are you going to do? <laughs> this is a lot like right before we start recording. Yeah, basically the same thing. Yeah. That's me. That's you. I think if I was the actor or one of the actors, I would have to play football after that speech. Yeah. I'd be like, you know what? Let's just fucking really do it. <laughs> That speech was amazing. Let's get at it, fellas. I need to fucking hit somebody. I'm not good. I'll probably die. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing it. <laughs> This is what it's like when people leave a comedy show that I perform at. <laughs> They're, so They're fucking hyped, They're dude. running to take a picture with you. Yeah. I want a picture with Gerardo now. <laughs> Where's the meet and greet? Move. Move. <laughs> Ever heard of it? <laughs> um, do you, do we have voicemails? Yeah, I think we do, but let's finish off. What's, you want to do, you don't want to save this for next week? I'm done. I'm done to do it. Let's do this right, right here, dude. Cool. So I saw this tweet. I actually saw, I think Ben, um, Fuck Ben Ben uh, Avery Ben Avery yeah Ben Avery tweet retweeted this like making fun of it because it, liquid death is water or whatever but the tweet is this is Mike Cesario he turned liquid death into a 1.4 billion brand in and I'm not a numbers guy but 1.4 billion brand in the boring industry Mike sells water in beer cans and hires porn stars for ads here's how he used branding to build a 1.4 billion dollar water brand and it's a picture of Mike and he's got <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's all tatted up. Uh, maybe he's got a Roly or something. And then he's got a Bukowski shirt. He's got his tongue out. <laughs> he's a rocker, you know? And he made this liquid death thing. And uh, my issue with this is, you know, it's a little different than most people. I think a lot of people make fun of liquid death because it's like, you know, they're like, oh, it's water, liquid death. Like, what's next? Pussy juice or whatever. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, stuff like hell? that. What you know, the hell? Or like, you know, just like a fuck you, fuck this. Yeah. And then it's like a can or whatever. That's not my beef with this. My beef with this kind of shit is, why isn't it rain energy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why isn't this? This should be a 1.4 billion fucking dollars energy. What does water have? I don't care what you call water. Mm -mm. Call it fucking machine gun water. No. Fucking H2O explosion. Yeah. And all that stuff. Shout out to the fourth wall owner. But no, rain energy drink, dude. Water, you know what? All it has is hydrogen, two oxygen, or whatever the fuck, dude. <laughs> Jeez, okay, <laughs> fucking <Rain>. duck, dude. 
Rain, dude, has fucking cherry in it. Mm. Lime, aid. Mm-hmm. Also zero sugar. Water has zero sugar. So does rain. <laughs> fucking, I've talked about this before. Does water give you 300 milligrams of natural caffeine? Mm-mm. What is natural caffeine? Yeah. I don't know, deity. Increase concentration so you can think about how much water sucks. <laughs> you can think about all that dick you slang in. Red- <laughs> You get reduced fatigue. You know what you get fatigue from? Drinking liquid dumb. <laughs> liquid duck. <laughs> liquid duck. That's what they should change it. Yeah. Into, right? Does liquid duck have B vitamins? Didn't think so. Does it have B3, B6, and B12? Doubt it. <laughs> you know what that adds up to? Fucking B21. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't. An undiscovered element. I don't know if that's the right math. Branch chain amino acids. Boom. Not You won't be a noodle arm beta if you drink this shit. Boner alert. Boner alert. I texted this to my friends, and I was like, this is upsetting that this guy made this much money. Yeah. And that my idiot friend Cutter, he responded like, but you could do it too, because he's kind of like one of these like crypto, like, mm-hmm. may, so, like you can do it. You sell a business. I'm a director, but I'm interviewing somebody who's big and blah, 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 blah. Ain't nobody got time for that, bro. Yeah, I don't want to hear about that, Cutter, you duck. <laughs> So I texted back, I'd rather hire someone to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> this just bother- Here's what bothers me about this, really. It's not that it's liquid death, and, like, I'm fine. I honestly think it's not that bad of an idea. I'm going to go into the hear both ways thing. Because when you're at the bar, and I'm, I'm not sober, but I assume, like, yeah, maybe you want something that's, like, kind of cool or whatever. That's fine. My issue here is that the reason that stuff like this relates to people is kind of like what country, in my opinion, that country Wayne shit... When country was like, my fans, like, I'm talking to the hustlers, you know, not to Jack Boys, not yeah. to Jack, the hustlers. There's this, like, and Andrew Schultz, there's this large amount of people that are so stupid that they fall for this guy and they like Andrew Schultz talking about how, like, this is so hilarious. He's like, you you, uh, you pregnant? Oh, you a Latina. Did, did he gay? Yeah. <laughs> did, oh, shit. I was gay like Meek Mill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He was trying to get them out so we could suck their dick. <laughs> it's like people that will argue with you that that's funny, this and or country Wayne was funny or whatever. They're all this. This yeah. the, the people that are like, oh fuck, liquid death. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, it's not just water, dude. It's fucking rad, bro. Get a get a fucking Perrier like an adult. Yeah, get I a, mean, I had a liquid death. The sparkling water sucks. You don't like sparkling water? No. The liquid Oh, literally is not good? I don't like the liquid death sparkling water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's even more to my point. It's not even good. It's a golden can. Fuck that. This is what you should be drink, daddy. Yeah. Fucking rain. Rain all day. Rain on that parade, motherfucker. I almost want to be like, if you're a hockey, you can't drink liquid death anymore, but I don't want to be that guy. Oh, yeah? I know, like, the cult of personality people. I, I used to, there used to be this guy, Chad Dukes in D.C. Ever heard of it? And he would he would like defriend you if he saw you drinking Diet Coke instead of Coke Zero. <laughs> the weirdo. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, but this is fucking. It's so hacked. A Bukowski shirt, really. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> One point four billion dollars for that. I don't want a billion dollars if I have to be a duck to get it. Yeah, I mean, I'll be a duck for a billion. I duck. will absolutely be a duck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <dude. laughs> for a billion dollars. I just say stuff sometimes. I just go, as you know. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean. All right, so I don't know if we have any reviews, which we should be doing that at the beginning of the yeah, show. Yeah, we should be telling people to review at the beginning, but if you're a duck, you're a, if you're a duck. If you're a hockey, stay to the end, deity. I still haven't uploaded the fucking audio for this week, but I'll do that when I get home. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, audio is king. Not anymore, though. I know, <laughs> not, right? Not, yeah. not in this show. <laughs> All right, let's see this. I don't know if this one has anything. It's a very short one. Um, is the speaker on? There we go. Let's see this. Uh, leave us a voicemail, 775-557-8667. Mm-hmm. That's seven seven five 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 seven Timos, and we'll play your uh, voicemail on the Boom. show, just like these. Let's see. All right, so that guy was just creeping on us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> was that dude, was just he lost confidence. He was like, "What am I doing with my life?" <laughs> yeah, he's like, enough. "I'm calling a show about Brendan Chop right now." Dude. <laughs> uh, Don't be like him. Yeah. But oh, we got a celebrity call, dude. Oh, shit. You ready for this? Can't wait for it. What's up, guys? It's Tim Tebow calling in. I just want to say Brendan Schaub. Ever heard of him? <laughs> he used to walk me to my truck, you know what I'm saying, do pull-ups on my dick. 
It's not over yet. It's oh, funny okay. that we always wait till right to the end to be like, you got to take it? Oh, yeah. no. Um, we always wait till right to the end because we were hoping for like a deity. Yeah. But uh, I, what, how crazy would it be if that really was Tim Tebow? <laughs> I mean, it's obviously yeah. not. But yeah, one of these days, maybe we'll get a voicemail from like the actual person being like, I listen to Tim as a shop. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> and no one will really believe it's me, but this is Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom. But yeah, that's it for the this week, dude. Yeah, have a great week. Join the Patreon. Join the Reddit. Join the Discord. Bye.